so <clears throat> praise god praise god good afternoon i bless the lord for this opportunity he has given us so today is on monday and he always say that it is very 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 important for anybody who is beginning their week to begin with prayers and prayers should be a life sign in our life so this is revival sister betty i am glad to have you i am honored to have you this week Today being the first day of the week, and I know that the Lord is going to do something. So uh, we're just going to wait in for like five minutes before we begin our service. But this is the day that we get to pray with everybody who is going to go in live. We are going to read the word, and then we're going to pray. And I know that the Lord is going to help us, and is also going to revive us in our spirits. So God bless you all so much. Welcome to this platform, and I'm honored to have you. In the next five minutes, we will begin. And I know that the Lord is going to bless us all in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Mazi mandurubis. Big makuru boshan tarababosin turubu. Mandaraboshi karaboyan rubus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Marabosi and Tarabosi, Ibaba Bosha Carabosa, Macrobosh and the Riando, Rimaco Torubosi, Tarabo, Masha Carabayan Dorubosi. Riba babusha karabaya nduru babuzi Mashanta rabayo nduru buzini Riba kurubu shanta rababuzi Raka basa yala mayano Riba kurubu shanta rabayo Thank you Lord, I worship you Jesus You are the one praises my God Masha Karabayan Rosa Riba Mabusha. I worship you and exalt you, my God. You are worthy to be praised, Jesus. Mazia Mandu Rosa Makarabusha and Garamando Riba Kotolo Bosi and Garabos Makamando Rosa Karayan Rosa. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy of our praises. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That was an instrumental soaking worship song that has only instruments. So, good afternoon. Uh, in Kenya, we're in Kenya now. It's around 6 p.m. And I'm glad to see you. I am honored to see you. And uh, I thank God for His grace upon my life. I thank the Lord for what He is doing and i want to welcome us all to our one hour of prayer because our god is very very faithful so if you're coming in 
this is Revival Holy Sister Betty. And I thank the Lord for giving me this platform every single day. And he has called me because of his work. So I want to welcome you. For those who are going to watch later on, well and good. Welcome Beatrice. For those who are here, I want to take the opportunity to welcome you. And and uh, today is the first day of the week. So I don't know where you are, where you're watching from. But uh, we do have other people from other countries watching. And I want us to begin with a word of prayer so that we are able to continue with our live session. And I know that the Lord is going to do it for us. So let us just begin with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you <clears throat> for your grace. I thank you for this hour, my God. I thank you for this opportunity that you have given us this week. Today is on Monday and we have begun our week. And I thank you, Lord, because uh, it is by your grace. It is by your mercy. It is by your power through the Holy Spirit that you left us with while you left. And uh, I thank you because we are empowered. We are never alone. We were never alone. And while we are still on this earth, we are walking uh we are, we are walking in the race in the in the narrow road my god as we continue with our prayer session today plus one i thank you because somebody is going to be empowered somebody is going to be uplifted and as long as we are still here my god we we really need to remind ourselves of what is to come so i am submitting myself to the authority of the holy spirit i declare the power of the lord uh in this place I thank you because you fill me with your power. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for your glory. And everybody that is going to watch this live and later on, I thank you because Holy Spirit of God, you are going to help them as they listen to the word and as you pray together in the realms of the spirit because this is the hour that we need to pray together as a church in unity, in love, reminding ourselves of what is to come. Despite the challenges, the, despite every spiritual warfare, everything else that we might be dragging us down, Jesus, I thank you because you are interceding on our behalf. We have anointed servants of God who are praying with us, our pastors, um, those who have, you have entrusted with the flock. And it shall be well with us, O oh Lord, because at the end of the day, we know where we are going. So I thank you. We are preparing our hearts for your word. I know we are going to bless your children. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen and amen. So I want to thank you all for coming in. I don't know if my comment section is working. I hope it is working. Maybe, bitches, you can just try and type in something there. And uh, last time it was not working, but we are going to continue with the grace that the Lord has given us. So, I want to welcome you all to today's platform. <clears throat> and I'm really excited to have you here because uh, when we get to meet, it is not something ordinary. It is out of the ordinary because uh, the Lord has actually prepared me and is also going to prepare, prepare you for what you are going to uh, listen to and uh, we are going to pray together and I hope you're ready in Jesus name so welcome all so much and we are going to be here for one hour and I know that the Lord is going to bless us so today is on Monday it is on 14th of February and I want to thank everybody else that has been watching in from USA we have people from Uganda we have United States of America we have uh, United Arab Emirates you have the UK we have um, so many countries. South Africa is also here with us. My own nation, Kenya, is also here with me. So from wherever it is that you're watching from, may the good Lord bless you and may you take something home um, tonight. So whether you're far behind or you're ahead, we are here because of the work of the Lord and you're going to continue doing it and know that the Lord is going to bless you and amen and amen. So today is on Monday and um, it is important that anytime you're beginning your day, the first person you need to begin with, of course, is the Lord through the Holy Spirit. And that is why the Lord always tell, tells us in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, that we need to pray without ceasing. That is what the Lord always tells us. But aside from that, when you're praying, Romans 8, 26 says that it is the Holy Spirit that intercedes on our behalf. Amen. So uh, we're not going in alone. We're not going in the flesh. It is through the power of the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, who is in us and is supposed to be with us forever until the Christ comes for his church. So when he comes, we are going to hear the voice or we are going to hear the sound of the trumpet. That is if you are going to be around uh, because, you know, everybody has their own time. But I'm praying you're going to be here until we finish the work of the Lord. So I want to get straight to my point and I want us to pray today. So 
if you have your bible i want us to open our bibles in the book of luke chapter 5 verses 16 luke chapter 5 verse 16 i'm still not seeing my comments I'm going to proceed i hope to uh, on wednesday they're going to be working so the book of luke is in the book of the new testament i want us to listen to what the holy spirit is telling us today and it is actually very interesting and my urge to you if this message is going to get to uh every other brethren that is around i hope our internet is going to work so luke chapter 5 verse 16 welcome brother francis i just can't i'm not seeing the comment sections but welcome i can see you from up there luke chapter 5 verse 16 says this amen he says this and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed <clears throat> amen today is prayer monday can we just share i'm just praying and asking you with humility so that we can share so that we can pray together it doesn't matter from where you're watching from as long as we are in one spirit we are in one accord we are in unity and the lord has a message for you i want to believe that we are all we are going to take something so share to as many groups as we can so that the name of the lord can be exalted the name of the lord can be lifted so that we can pray together with strength with power with authority and we can hear the power of the lord the lord is already moving i can feel the presence of the holy spirit so please share 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 and share to every other platform that is here and we are going to be blessed so luke chapter 5 verse 16 says this that and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and pray remember today is prayer monday and uh you know when we get to, uh, to this platform to the facebook online platform on mondays we always share the word and then you always pray together so that we can know why it is that you are praying and what is the word of the lord saying today is monday you're talking about prayers kindly keep on sharing so the look of book of luke chapter 5 verse 16 says that our lord jesus he always withdrew, he withdrew and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed you know when you're withdrawing yourself it means uh you are going to somewhere that is um, a solitary place a place that maybe is quiet a place that have uh, doesn't have a lot of noise doesn't have other people because you want to concentrate basically on what you're doing and a lot jesus is saying today the book of luke chapter 5 verse 16 and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed i am telling you this life that you're living in at this dispensation uh we have a lot to do we have a lot to do we have to make progress in the spiritual realm we all also have this physical part our family members need us and we also have to socialize in one way or another but remember there's a time when the lord needs you to be in a solitary place and you know there are times yes we do make prayers uh in unity when you're together and there are times when the lord needs you alone and i want you to get something from this there were times that our lord jesus christ was alone not that he did not have anything to do not that he did not love people not that he did not love his disciples not that um he didn't have anything else to do but he realized in his life there were times he needed to have his own time with the lord amen and the book of luke chapter 5 verse 16 says this this is very important and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed so i want to tell you children of god yes we do have so many things that you're doing for those who are coming in welcome i'm not seeing my comments but we are going to continue preaching and you're going to listen to the word of god so jesus said and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed brethren brothers and sisters young children of god there are times when we need to withdraw ourselves like our lord jesus with you himself not because we don't want to associate ourselves with people not because you don't want to be in gatherings but a time comes when it's supposed to be you and the holy spirit you need to listen to what the lord is saying you need to go to your own solitary place and seek the face of god blessed is he that is in hunger and hunger that hungers and thirsts for righteousness because he will be filled so our lord jesus christ is saying the book of luke chapter 5 verse 16 and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed he withdrew himself so he was not with the kids 
yes for our mummies and our daddies he was not with other employees or other employers he was not with other church members and as much as he loved his disciples he withdrew himself and he said i have to go to a place alone i want to communicate with my father i want to have a fellowship with the holy spirit i need to be alone welcome to prayer monday so why did he do that and why do you need to do that number one is because he realized that his hunger and thirst for god was a personal decision it was a personal decision and that is why we say we are talking about the prayer life of jesus christ for those who are coming in welcome very much and that is why in the book of luke chapter 5 verse 16 says and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed why number one we are talking about the prayer life of jesus because his hunger and thirst for god was personal and that is why even if you're going to have the man of god praying for yourself jesus said i'm no longer leaving you as orphans amen i am no longer leaving you as orphans but i am leaving you with the holy spirit and the holy spirit is going to help you intercede romans 8 26 the holy spirit is going to be your guide in the book of john chapter 14 we see the work of the holy spirit the holy spirit is going to be your comforter the holy spirit is going to be a friend so number one his hunger and thirst of for god was personal and that is why he was he withdrew even though he was god he said i don't need any any other person here with me i want to connect myself in the spiritual realm and listen to what the lord is telling me because of the work that i have to do because of my ministry and because of the foundation of the church that has to be built so that when i go back to my father every work that i have to do must be completed amen i hope you're getting something so his hunger and thirst for god was personal so a time comes in your life you have to go to your room and you're all alone you have to look for a prayer center you have to look for a place whereby you don't want to listen to any other thing but you want to connect yourself in the realms of the spirit and you're going to say i don't care what every other person is saying but i need to look for a place i want to go to a place where it's just me and the holy spirit and that is what our lord jesus christ did and you also have that opportunity amen and we need a personal encounter with the holy spirit and we need to emulate our lord jesus christ let me tell you our pastors not all but uh the ministers and the pastors and evangelists everybody that is serving in the ministry they all have to get their own personal time how else will they leave? how else would they get the information or what they have to get from our lord jesus christ if you need to get that personal encounter with the holy spirit you have to look at the prayer life of jesus christ and number one we've said his hunger he realized that his anger hunger and thirst for god was personal and that is why he withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed amen he prayed there are things that are going to make us to seek god to another level if we are going to get answers and amongst the things that we need to do is you need to withdraw yourself from people and i'm not saying you're going to live the sort of life that we are like that people live and they don't want to see people i'm saying the time the prayer life of jesus he needed to withdraw himself from people and number one his hunger and thirst for the lord was a personal decision like you're doing right now you are listening to the voice of the holy spirit through his anointed servant that is a personal decision number two we're talking about the prayer life of jesus apart from his hunger and thirst for god being personal number two is he received power to perform miracles and walked in authority so one of the things that we receive apart from our lord jesus, jesus having the prayer life we're looking at the prayer life of jesus christ and the results is number two he received power to perform miracles and walked in authority let me tell you i want you to know one thing amen if you're going to pray for somebody to receive healing 
If you're going to talk to somebody about the Lord or if you're going to do anything in the house of God, the Lord is saying today that through the prayer life of Jesus, he received power to perform miracles and he walked in authority. That is why anytime you go in the realms of the spirit and pray, you cannot behave like an ordinary person. You cannot behave like an ordinary person because the Lord gives you power when you seek his face. And that is why the Lord invested in prayer. He received power to perform miracles and walk in authority. And I'm not talking about scandalous miracles. I think you all know them. We all know them. We are talking about true miracles, things that we have seen with our own eyes. We are talking about servants of the Lord who have been used mightily. But they were not used mightily uh, if they did not invest in prayer. And I'm telling you, prayers goes with fasting. So if we are going to eat a lot of ugali, a lot of food, anytime you want to invest, that is not going to work. I think you all know that. But the Lord, what the Lord is saying is, if you invest in the prayer life, like the Lord Jesus in Christ invested in his prayer life, he received power to perform miracles. Once he spoke something, that thing had to happen. And you're not talking about fake things. You're talking about the word of God. I want you to open your Bible in the same Bible verse. Luke chapter 5 verses 18. Don't worry, you're going to pray. Luke chapter 5 verses 18 says this. Huh? It says this. Uh, and behold, men brought in a, a, a bed, a man which was taken with a palsy. Okay, let me begin from verse 16. We, we already read that. Eh? Luke 5, 16. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. We've read that. And verse 17. And it came to pass on a certain day, and he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. So the power was there. The environment was conducive for healing. But remember, he withdrew and he prayed. So there was some investment there. Verses 18. And behold, men brought in a bed, uh, in a bed, a man which was taken in with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. Amen? There is a sick person. But remember, Christ has already prayed. Verses 17, we have some opposers. Opposers must be there. And Pharisees were opposers. And these people were in the church. But you're not talking about opposition. You're talking about Jesus Christ and the prayer life of Jesus Christ and what we are seeing. Verses 19. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the tiling which with his couch into the midst before Jesus. Amen. These people are desperate. They want to see this person well. And they were very confident. We are bringing this person here. This person is uh, very sick. He's in a bad condition. And the master Jesus is there. Verses 20. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, their sins are forgiven thee. Amen. I want us to reach there. Before Christ did that, I want you to know one thing. Verses chapter 5, verse 16 say, And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and he prayed. And he withdrew himself in the wilderness and he prayed. And after that, we see people coming in. from. We don't know where they came from, but we are being told that they came in with somebody who was very, very, very sick. And these people were very sure. And they were very confident that the master Jesus was more than capable of doing it. And as we read in verses 20, we see that the Lord actually did it. He saw their faith and he said unto me, the Lord only spoke. We don't hear any prayers. The Lord only spoke. And he said, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And that was it. That was it. Verses 21. And the scribe and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Opposers. Those are opposers. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And they don't know this man is actually God. Verses 22. But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he, answering and, he answered and said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Amen. So we see that this man 
was actually healed. In verses 24, he says, But that he may know that the Son of Man had power upon the earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And he immediately rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying the name of the Lord. May all every other opposer that is opposing against us be defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Because once we speak a word, once you speak a word after investing in prayer, the Lord has to confirm that word. And we are saying the prayer life of Jesus. Number one, his hunger and thirst for God was personal. And that is why he succeeded. Amen. He had to withdraw himself. And number two, we've said, after he prayed, he was able to exercise power. He received power to perform miracles and walk in authority. We see him speaking a word. He did not pray because he had invested in prayer. Brethren, there is power. The prayer life of Jesus was very powerful. And that is why we need to admire our own master, Jesus. Amen. So, as we continue, we have point number three. We are looking at the prayer of life of Jesus Christ and the results. And after he prayed, what actually happened? Number three, Jesus Christ was able to make a big impact amongst the people and everywhere he went for the sake of the kingdom of God. We are here on this earth to make, to, to, to walk in a way of fire. We are here on this earth to make an impact so that people can know that actually men, women, youth, or people of God who are walking in power. Remember, these are the last days. And every time we read about our master Jesus, he never left the environment the same. And that is what your prayer life should do in your life. Apart from the prayer life of Jesus. Every single place he went, he changed the environment. If they are, I'm imagining if there are people who are sick there, it's also written in the word of God, they received their deliverance. They were healed. Amen. He always changed the environment. He always changed his surrounding everywhere he went. And that is what your prayer life should do for you. You are in that office. But people actually know because this person is here, everything always changes. When this person is not here, I don't know what he goes through. But people can actually say, anytime this man of God is, is here, or this woman of God here is here, or this employee is here, there must be a change. People can actually tell that this farm is standing because there is a prayer warrior. That this church or the pillars of this church are standing because there is an intercessor. That our families are going to stand because there is an intercessor. That our church, that our environment, our society is going to change. And we being the salt of the earth, we must bring an impact because our prayer lives are, are like the one of Jesus. Amen. Christ was able to make a big impact and that is what you have been called to do. You are supposed to make an impact wherever you are because of your powerful prayer life. Amen. That when an accident is about to happen, because there is a servant of the Lord, the Lord actually does something and turns it around. When people are planning to do a bad, a bad thing, wherever you are, when you just begin speaking, they hear this is not somebody ordinary. There is something, this man, there is something this woman is saying that is out of the ordinary, of the ordinary and we cannot do wickedness because there is somebody here who has stood in the gap and what they are saying is actually making sense. Amen. The prayer life of Jesus Christ. Your prayer life should actually make you have an impact wherever you are. People should be able to listen to you because of what you are carrying inside you. Now, I want us to read in, that was in the book of John chapter 5 verses 15. John 5, 5, 5 15. We are going to pray. We are going to pray and the Lord is going to help us because we desire to reach this level. John 5, 15 says this. But so much more, the more, when there are fame abroad of him, Great multitudes came together to hear. People came everywhere to hear. 
and to be healed by him of the infirmities. Now, this is very interesting. It seems they had actually heard about Jesus Christ. So they were coming from everywhere to listen to what is this servant of the Lord saying? What is our Lord saying? What is our master Jesus saying? That is what happens. That when you have connected yourself in the realms of the spirit, that people are always coming, they're always surrounding you. They want to listen to what is this person saying? I want to listen to what this servant of the Lord is saying. There is something that he has carried. I know he's carrying a word of healing upon my life. I know he has an answer to what I'm going through. I know when this person speaks, my situation has to be changed. I know when this person speaks, everything has to change in the name of Jesus Christ. Your environment has to change because the person that you're carrying in you, if you can invest, if we are going to invest and look at the prayer life of Jesus, I'm telling you our lives must change. Amen and amen. That great multitudes came to hear and to be healed by of him of their infirmities. There are people who are suffering. Brethren, there are people who are suffering. Maybe even watching this and you're suffering. You have infirmity. You have issues with your family. You have issues in your church. You have issues with your home. You don't know what left or right is. You are just in darkness. You don't know what to do. But I'm telling you, if you can look at the prayer life of Jesus Christ, people wanted to connect themselves with the Lord because of his prayer life. He walked in power. I hope you are following keenly. Everybody wanted to listen to him. They believe that he had the power to deliver them. Do you know, somebody can actually believe that you have the, the power to remove him from a situation. Of course, through the grace of the Lord, through the power of the Holy Spirit. That is the season that we are in right now. We are refusing every other uh, uh, arrow of the enemy. That is make us not to, uh, actually not going to pray. In the realms of the spirit because the advantages are here and we have read them and you've seen the power and we've seen the glory of the lord everywhere that the lord went he changed the environment and people knew this person is not ordinary this person is very powerful there's something that this person has that every other person doesn't have amen so something else that we realize uh from the prayer life of jesus christ is that what we get is that Jesus Christ showed his disciples that they need not have fear, but courage even through the storm. As a result of the prayer life of Jesus Christ, he walked in power, he was courageous and did not have fear. Now, I want us to look at the book of Matthew chapter 14, verses 23. When you have a, a, a powerful prayer life, you cannot have fear. I'm telling you, the Lord deals with your fear immediately. You walk in faith. The just shall live by faith. We speak things through faith. Even if we see this thing, I am in a hole. I am in a storm. I don't know how I'm going to walk through this. But if you have, we invest in our prayer life like Jesus did, I'm telling you, it's going to be great. So, Matthew chapter 14, verses 23 says this. It says this, sorry. And, um, let me begin from verse 22. And straight away Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him and to the other side. While he sent the multitudes away. Verse 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. So we can actually see he moved away from the disciples and he's still praying. Let's see what he's praying for. And when the evening was come, he was there all alone. Verse 24, but the ship was now in the midst of the sea. It tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. Amen. Verse 25, and in the, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. Verse 26, there's something very powerful here. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And they cried, and they cried out for fear. Verse 27. But straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee onto the water. Verses 29. And he said, Come. 
And when Peter was coming down off the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to seek and he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Now, we actually see before the whole of this scenario began, I don't know where the disciples were, but verses 22 say, and Jesus straight away constrained his disciples to get into a ship. Mm -hmm. And to go before him and unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. Verses 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. So I don't know where the disciples were, but we are told Jesus had to send those other people away. He was, uh, he was from ministry. And he went to pray. So after praying, they're in a storm. But Jesus is very calm in the storm. But all of these other disciples, they're in fear. They're wondering what is going to happen to us. They have forgotten the power of the Lord. They are with the master. But the master prayed fast. As we continue to read this script, we see that. He told them, be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid while he was walking on water. I'm telling you, this is very powerful. And he tells Peter to come. Peter starts coming and he's afraid and he goes inside the water. When he saw the wind coming in. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto them, O thou O little faith, wherefore did you, why did you doubt? And when they were coming into the ship, the wind ceased. I want to let you know, you have the power. You have the authority to stop every circumstance and every situation that is disturbing your family, that is disturbing your church, that is disturbing uh, uh, your, uh, the nation that you're living in, you have the power. But the power is born through prayers. Because if we invest in prayer like, like our Lord Jesus Christ did, you will walk in power, you will have no fear, you will be very confident of what you're doing. And that is the season that you are in right now. So the prayer life of Jesus, of Jesus Christ teaches us that when you are in the storm, you have the power to stop every other thing that is disturbing you. And that is what you've read right now. Amen. As we continue, we are, we are going to pray in the next few minutes. Something else. Point number five. He was able to overcome the kingdom of darkness. He was able to overcome the kingdom of darkness. There are three things that are fighting against every believer. As long as you're still here, you've not left us to go to daddy. We have the world. And that is why the Lord always says, friendship with the world is an enemy with God. Number two, the flesh. The Lord says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, walk in the spirit so that you don't fulfill the desires of the flesh. Number three, the animal, the enemy of the cross, the old serpent, is like a roaring lion, always walking around looking for whom he might devour, but he's not going to devour us. He's not going to devour us because we are fully equipped. So he was able to overcome the kingdom of darkness, and that is why we have been given the all the power and authority. Once you've already believed, once you've already believed in Jesus. And you've confessed that is an entry point. But then there is prayers and there is reading the word of God. He was able to overcome the kingdom of darkness. And that is the power that every believer has been given. We have that access. We have that access. Can you believe that you have the power to overcome the kingdom of darkness? I am telling you, it is a war. It is a war. And we are fighting in the spiritual realm, spiritual battles. Things that you cannot see with your physical eyes, but in the realms of the spirit, the Lord is going to help us. Mark chapter 1 verses 35. Mark 1 35. Says this. I want you to know that you have the power to overcome the kingdom of darkness. Don't let the enemy terrorize you, please. He's not supposed to terrorize believers. As long as you've understood your position and you've seen the prayer life of Jesus Christ, you are walking in obedience. I'm telling you there's nothing we cannot do. Mark 1 35 says this. Today is prayer Monday. It says this. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. This is Jesus. Always praying 
Now praying with people is out there. Let's see what he does. And there he prayed. Amen. And it says this. And when they had found him, uh, sorry, verse 36. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. Amen. And uh, verse 37. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. We have the power and authority. Now, I want to, that was the, uh, the word for prayers. But when you open your book in Mark chapter 14, verses 38 says this. Mark 14, 38 says this. Uh, it says this. Mm, watch ye so that you do not enter into temptation. So the book of Mark chapter 1, verses 35 says this. Uh, let me begin from verses 34. Sorry. Verses 34 says this. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. Yes, that is the scripture that I was looking for. He was able to overcome the kingdom of darkness. Now, the kingdom of darkness has already known that this person is fiery. This is not a person that we will pray around with. Mark chapter 1 verse 34 says this, And he healed many that were sick, of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. The kingdom of darkness has known that this is the master Jesus and he has power. And that is the position that we need to have as sons and daughters of God. But after this being told, and in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. The kingdom of darkness ought to know there are people who are surrounded with fire. Their tongues have fire. Their bodies, their spirit and souls have fire. And they're not willing to play around with the kingdom of darkness. Now, if you've reached that level, you need to know that you are very well capable of standing firm against every other principality that may be fighting against your family, your country, your nation, your spiritual life, every other thing that is working against you. You have that power and that is the power that you ought to have in Jesus' name. He was able to overcome the kingdom of darkness. I want you to know that you can be an overcomer. We are about to pray. Mark chapter 14 verses 38 says, uh, we, we read it, but it says, praying so as not to enter into temptation. Now the prayer life of Jesus helped him. And if you want to survive, if you want to overcome every temptation, the Lord says, Pray ye so that you do not enter into temptation. Now, Jesus Christ at that point, he was in the garden praying. He was, supposed, he was about to be crucified, but the disciples uh, fell asleep. So if you follow that script, the Lord is telling them, he told them like three times, can you pray? But they kept on sleeping. And finally, the Lord says that, of course, the spirit, uh, the, the spirit was willing, but the flesh was weak. And that is why the Lord was asking, watch and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. As you conclude, something else. The request made to the Father so that we receive the Holy Spirit. The prayer life of Jesus Christ. John chapter 14, 16. Before we receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus had to pray for the disciples to receive that. And I think that is something that is very powerful. So John 14, 16 says this. You have the Holy Spirit because Jesus Christ prayed. He prayed for you. John 14, 16 says this. And if you shall ask anything, um, John 14, 16 says this. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The prayer life of Jesus actually help us to have the Holy Spirit in us. And that is the person that is helping us to live this life while we are still here. You are able to receive the Holy Spirit because Jesus Christ actually prayed for you. Amen. As we conclude, Hebrews chapter 5, verses 7 to 8 says this. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Hebrews 5. Hebrews, 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 Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 5, 
Hebrews chapter 5. Uh, from verses 7 to 8, it says this. I'm going to read that for you. It says this. Uh, Hebrews 5, 7 to 8 says this. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplication with strong crying and tears unto him, that was able to save him from death, and was hard in that he feared. Verses 8. Though he were a son, yet learned obedience by things which he suffered. So Christ was going to the cross. But through his prayers, he was actually able to be obedient until the last minute. So the prayer life of Jesus Christ helped him to walk in obedience up to the last minute. I love what the Lord is doing. I'm not able to see my comments, but the Lord is faithful. Today is prayer Monday. And you've looked at the prayer life of Jesus Christ. We've looked at the prayer life of Jesus Christ and the things he was able to do because he withdrew himself. And he said, number one that the prayer of life of jesus was very effective because number one his hunger and thirst for god was personal point number two we say uh his prayer life was very effective because he received power to perform miracles and walked in authority because of his prayer life number three jesus christ was able to make a big impact amongst the nations because of his prayer life number four jesus christ was act or, or his prayer life was very powerful and that is why he was able to show his disciples that they ought not to be afraid, even in the storm. Amen. Number five, he showed them, you are able to overcome the kingdom of darkness. We read that verse. We also say that because of the request the Father, uh, Jesus Christ made to the Father because of the Holy Spirit, we actually see the Holy Spirit because Jesus Christ prayed to the Father. Something else, he was able to walk in obedience because of his prayer life. He said, even though this cup is very hard to take, I am still going to take it. Amen. I want us to pray. I want the Lord to help us. We need this power. We need this power. You know, there's so much that is going on. We actually re reached a place whereby uh, it's very crazy. It's not easy. People are going through very difficult things. For those who are coming in, welcome. And we talked about the prayer life of Jesus Christ. But this is something that is available to us. Remember, when you're praying, Romans 8.26 says that it is the Holy Spirit that helps you in prayer. You're not praying alone. But there's a level the Lord wants us to reach. I want us to go into prayers. If you're coming in, you're going to be able to watch this stream uh, later on. But we've talked about the prayer life of Jesus and how effective it was and how we need this in our lives. We need people to, we need to impact the nations through our prayer life so people can see Christ. We need to operate in power and authority as, as a church. Amen. We need to see, people need to see our hunger and thirst for, for God so that they can also see the power and glory of the Lord. We also need to show other people, fellow disciples, that they need not fear. We need to walk in courage because the Lord is with us even through the storm. We also need to know that uh, we receive the uh, Holy Spirit because Christ prayed for his church. And something else we need to know is the Lord actually helped Jesus Christ when he prayed and he was able to walk in obedience and the ministry of Christ and the foundation that Christ began. We can actually see its power up to today. So I don't know what it is you feel about this word, but this word is for every other believer. And I am praying that you can follow up on this and actually see that the prayer life of Jesus Christ was amazing. It was powerful. It had results. And we are eating off the fruits of our Lord Jesus Christ up to now because of what he did. It's time for us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. We need to emulate the prayer life of Jesus Christ. Even though he was gone, there are things he was able to accomplish. But before he preached before men and women and children, he, was, he went to solitary places. Before he performed miracles, he had to pray. Amen. Before uh, he empowered his disciples, he had to pray for them and ensure that they were ready for the work that was there. And that is why we are actually enjoying the benefits of the cross because somebody prayed, paid a huge price. Don't be discouraged in prayers. Don't see it like the Lord is not working on your behalf. Continue praying because there's something that the Lord is doing. In Jesus, Christ, in Jesus name. I want us to go before the Lord. I want us to go before Jesus Christ. I want us to seek 
the face of our Lord. And I want us to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to see the power of the Lord. We need to see what the Lord is going to do and is about to do in the name of Jesus Christ. It, the time has come for us to pray. I want you to open up your heart. I want you to open up your spirit. I want us to pray because the Lord is going to do something. The Lord wants us to be powerful. He wants us to walk in power. He doesn't want to, to, to us to be the way that we are. He needs us. The grace is sufficient. The grace is sufficient. It doesn't depend what the world is doing. It doesn't matter what the enemy is doing. Even if you have this flesh, you're going to walk in the spirit and you're going to see the glory of the Lord. I want you to go before the Lord. I want you to tell the Lord. I want the Lord to help us to have to always seek his face, to be ready to withdraw ourselves because of our hunger and thirst for the Lord so that we can see the goodness of the Lord upon our lives. I want us to go into prayer. And I know that the Lord is going to, to do it for us in the next few minutes that we have. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your word. I glorify you for your word. Oh, my God. Riba korobozia kanta rabosha reba koziande reka makoroboziana shaka rabozi kena makarabo shalababoria reka mazia reka makozi kena makarabo shekarababozaya reka bakotorobo shanda rabagande ria karabazia mandorobozika makasha kayando roko makorobozikina reka makorobo shanda the time has come oh Lord. We need to withdraw ourselves, my God, and go into solitary places to seek your face. Makata la boriando robosaya, rekaba bosika, makama kanda, rekama zoya, shakara bagando, rekama ziende. Mashekata rabosia reka makayando shakara bosia makoro bosikina reka makayando shikara bazeketa reka bakoro bosia shanda rabayanda. We need to look for solitary places, my God, in the realms of the spirit to seek your face, Jehovah. Reka masanda to hunger and thirst for you because this is a personal decision. Mashakara bosekete reka bose. Shakara Bosikina, Makara Mazaya, remember your church, my God. May we seek you, my God. Rekara Bosi Aramande. Raboze kata, shakara boze kena, reka bazia, shakara bazoka, reka makoyando, shikara bosia, reka rakaraba, ma shakara magando, rako bazia, shalaba borianda, grace my God, to seek you in solidarity, grace my God as a child, to seek your face, makanda, reke bosia, the prayer life of Jesus my God. Masha mababo robabo ye kararabo ziarababa shi kararabo si kararababa sha kararaba yanda any other person that has been struggling my god to look for that solitary place i am praying for grace i am praying for the anointing power to pray jehovah sha rabo ziyanda sha kararaba zanda shi kararaba bozia re kama kontaraba i kararabo shikina ye kereria zia i am releasing your grace my god Oh, praying Jehovah, seeking your face in a solitary place, my God. Shakarabo zikina, reka mayando, mashikarabo zekete, rika babo shakarababo, ye kereri andarabasaya, reka makorobo shanda. Can you tell the Lord, I desire my God to look for that solitary place to seek your face because I'm, I have hunger, I have thirst, oh my God. I need to withdraw myself, oh my God, to seek from, to seek you, to hear from you, oh Lord, to experience your power. The word of the Lord says, my God, that he received power to perform miracles and to walk in authority because he had looked for that solitary place, my God. This is our season to walk in power, to do miracles, my God, because we are seeking your face. You cannot embarrass us, oh Lord. You cannot shame us, oh Lord. I need you to pray for yourself. You need to walk in power. You need to walk in authority. The Lord is waiting for 
for generals to walk in power, to walk in authority, to heal men of their diseases, to deliver children of God that, that are in slavery and they are bound by chains. But you are there and the Lord is willing to do it. But you need to look at the prayer life of Jesus. We need to surrender ourselves to the Lord. Oh my Lord, before you did anything, you went and prayed. And after your prayer, there was nothing that you could not do. You raised the dead, my God. You delivered those who were demon possessed, Jehovah. You fed those who were hungry. It is our desire, my God, to do all of these things because you've given us the gifts of the Holy Spirit at a time like this. I am praying for impartation power right now. Every other person that is watching this and the desire to reach that level, my God, in the realms of the Spirit, I am declaring your power. I am releasing your anointing in the realms of the Spirit. Shamba Robo Zika. We are not going to be terrorized by the enemy, my God. We are not going to allow our people to die. And we have this power. We are not going to allow the world to die. And we have this power to preach the gospel. We are not going to allow other people, my God, not to see you, my God. Because of the man that we carry, because of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I want you to cry to the Lord. He's willing to use you. He's willing to empower you. But we need to operate in power. I am declaring the power upon your chart to be able to perform miracles, to walk in power. Jehovah Rabozikina, Shalaba Borianda, the blinds are going to see Jehovah Rekabasaya, the lame are going to walk, the deaf are going to hear Shalaba Boriando. The dead are going to be raised up. Oh my God. This general, so Makanta Rabo Shanda, Rika Mazia, Chikarabo Zika. Don't think that you cannot do it. You can do it because the Lord needs people to serve him at a time like this. Don't look at yourself and say, I cannot do this. And yet you are the vessel of the Lord. Shaba Robo Zian, Shankaraba Gando Robo Zika, Shankaraba Boriando, Rekama Kayando, Shikarabo Zia. We are tired of walking in fear, my God. Shikarabo Zekete. Masha Karaboza, Shakarabayando, Rekama Koyente Riakoba Kala Koroba, Shikara Karabosikina, Yekeriando Robosaya, Shikarabosikina Rabayanda. Oh my God, Jesus, you are able to make a big impact because of your prayer life. We want to make that impact to the nations, to our villages, my God, to our family members, to our friends. Rabasikete, Sharaboza, Shakarabayando. We are not going to be ashamed of our Lord Jesus. We desire to make an impact wherever it is you went. You did good and you changed the environment. And that it is our desire, my God. It is our desire to move, my God. To move with the wave of the Holy Spirit. To walk on the streets, oh my God. That our shadows are going to heal people. To walk on the streets and people seeing the deliverance of the Lord. People seeing the power of the Lord. Sharabozi akanda. Shekarabozaya. Yekarabozi. Rima koze keta. Shakarabozi akanta labozete. Rekama korobo shikire arabosia. Reba babose kababo shanda rababosa yera yera baboshiria yera yanda rabosia. You told the disciples they need not to walk in fear. The spirit of fear has made the church, my God, to not walk in power. But we've seen you, Lord. You pray. You you did not know fear, my God. You said you've not given us a spirit of fear. We are afraid of so many small things. And that is why the enemy has taken advantage of us. But from today, I am praying, my God, that your children are going to walk in courage. Because you prayed, my Lord, you did not have fear. 
rebosi kata sharabozete rekama kotorobo shikara bazoka shakara mazeketa rekaba koyontorobazika shikara bosi yandarabayando spirit of fear you're not going to have opportunity in our lives we refuse to be afraid of the enemy we refuse to be afraid of the world we refuse to be afraid my god of this flesh rekabazikayanda the disciples made it that those who are in heaven right now with you because they walk this journey with you and you help them to reach where you are that is where we want to be rekabakotoroboshika rekarabosia i rebuke the spirit of fear we are not going to walk in fear we are going to walk in power we are going to walk in authority my god Rabazia mabosete rekama kotoro boshanda rekarabo sikina yekeri azaya shalaba boria. You said that you are able to overcome the kingdom of darkness, and that is the power that you want to have today in Jesus' name. Makoro bozaya shama koro bozekete rekaba kotoro ba shikaba bozeketa rekama koro boshanda rekarama zaya shakarayan tana bozika yekama koyontoro bayanda. Shekara kara magenta rababa, makara bozia kaya, ekere di antoro baba, shekara boje hoveri anda, ekere di antoro bozia, shikama koroba yanda, rekama sika yando. We are not going to be afraid, my God. We are going to overcome and overpower the kingdom of darkness because you have the name of Jesus, because you have the blood of Jesus, because you have the word of the Lord, because you have surrounded with us with fire, because King of our glory, you have given us the Holy Spirit that is working in us. Oh my God, shakara bozi keta, makara boshanda, reke bozi kayanda, shika makoro mozika, rika makoto roba yando, shikara bozi kanta raba bosha, raba bozi kete, reka maboshanda raba bozika, rika mazokanda, shalaba boria, rama zokonda, reke makoro ba, shika makoro bozia. Oh, thank you, Lord, Rabazia, Rababozaya. We are going to overcome the, the, the temptation, my God, because of the prayer life of our Lord. He said you need to watch and pray so that you do not walk into temptation, so that you don't go into temptation. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Shankarabayana, power to overcome temptation, power to overcome the flesh, come to power to overcome evil thoughts, my God, power to overcome our tongues. Reke bozeke, rabashanda. I want you to believe in the Lord that once you go into prayers, we are not going to fall into sin. When we read your word, we are not going to fall into sin because of your grace, my God. Shakarabozi and Tarabozi, ye kerriandrobosaya, shakarabozi kinam. You made a request to the Father and He gave us the Holy Spirit. You said you are no longer orphans, my God, but you have given us the oil, and the oil is the Holy Spirit. Reke bako. And because of your prayer life, my God, you walked in obedience. Help us to be obedient, my God. Help your children to be obedient. We want to see you, Lord. We want to accomplish our mission on this earth. You laid the foundation, Jesus, and you made it, my God. And you did it because you love your church. I am praying for your church. Help your church to stand firm, my God. We are going to stand firm. Oh, Rabbi Shanda, Rabbi Sia, help us not to get tired. Help us not to fall into the enemies, into the enemy's plans, my God, and wickedness. I rebuke every spirit of tiredness. Every spirit of weariness, oh my God, that is wearing us down, my God. Give us that burden, my God, to stand in the gap. Reke makoto roboshete, reka rabosi kayando, masha karabosia. We are going to make it, my God. We are going to make it to the streets of God. We are going to make it with our families. We are going to make it with our nations, my God. We are going to preach the gospel. We are going to serve you, Jesus, because of your prayer life, Jesus, and you've released the grace and the power of the cross. We refuse to be ordinary people. I thank you, Lord. 
Maziba bose te riantoro bose rekaba kontoro bose te rekama korobosika shakara maya kanta rababosika rekaba korobosi kiara bazaka shalaba bose ya rekabose te makama korobashata rekara bosia shalaba boria when we are weak you say we are strong when we are discouraged my God you say we have the Holy Spirit to encourage us my God. When you feel like we have reached the end, that is where we are beginning with us, Jehovah. I bless your name and I thank you for this hour. Just thank the Lord for this opportunity he has given you in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because we are on our way to you, my God. I thank you for the prayer life that you had. Because clearly there was power. Because clearly, oh my God, through your prayer, the world never remained the same. Through your prayer, as a church, my God, we have the authority and the power. Through your prayer, we are standing far, my God. I bless you. I thank you for everybody that has watched this. I pray for their families. I pray for their lives. I pray for their countries, for wherever they are watching from. There's somebody who's watching this, my God, and they have stress. They are depressed, my God. And yet they're saying Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm praying for that soul right now. In Jesus' name. There's somebody watching this and they're sick. They have no joy. They don't know what to do. They feel that you have left them, my God. I am praying for impartation right now. And declaring healing in the name of Jesus. For wherever they're watching from, my God. I thank you, King of all glory. Because we are not amongst those who are going to fall back. Oh my God, we are not going to kill ourselves because you are frustrated with this life. Jesus, strengthen your child. There's something, somebody watching this, oh my God, and they don't have food to eat. I am praying that you're going to provide for them. There's somebody watching this right now. They don't have a job. May you remember them this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody, their marriages are broken. They don't know what it is, my God. Uh, oh, they don't know what is going around with their marriages. But may you remember them right now. There's somebody who is in a tough situation. They're in prison. They want to leave that place. I'm praying that you're going to remember them. Remember our families. Remember your child. Remember our nations, my God. There's somebody who is possessed, my God. Then they want to be set free. Jesus. They have been terrorized by the enemy for too long. They don't know what it feels like to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. I am praying because of your blood, Jesus. That every other powers, every other dark powers that is operating in that body. I am declaring right now in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord, may you have a divine encounter with them in Jesus' name that may that temple be sanctified in the name of Jesus. I declare the blood of Jesus. Mashakata, Roko Masikita, Rika Makosika. There's somebody who has lost a person, my God, and they are down, they are frustrated, they are crying in their beds. They don't understand why this person uh, left. Oh my God, it's been death after death. Jesus, I am praying for that soul right now, and we cancel every spirit of death in Jesus' name. There's so much that you are going through, my God. But by your grace and by your power, the church is going to stand strong. Oh, Jesus. Remember every pastor, every evangelist, every other apostle, every other prophet, Jesus, every other teacher, men and women serving in your house. This, this evening, in Jesus' name, may we walk in your power and your glory. I thank you for your word. I thank you for everybody that has been here. I glorify your name and I worship you. In Jesus' name, do believe and pray. Amen and amen. I thank the Lord and I thank the Holy Spirit because he has given us that time. <clears throat> Our God is very faithful. We've been here for one hour. And I just want to tell you one thing. That it is, it is very possible. The prayer life of Jesus Christ, it was very effectual. It was very fervent. It was very powerful. And what our lord did he said we will do more so from wherever you are don't let the frustrations of this life pull you down don't let the challenges of this life take you down don't accept it don't remain in that in that valley don't remain in that hole don't remain that in that man
talk to somebody this life is not easy talk to somebody open up your heart and you are going to see the goodness of the lord we've talked about the prayer life of jesus christ if you're just coming in you can watch it later on and i just add just to share we are on a long journey the journey is long and uh we need to be prepared prepare your spirit your mind and your body and know that the lord is working on our behalf but the enemy is working against us the world is working against us yes our flesh is working against us but we are standing firm god bless you all so much for coming in i love you so much people of god please uh if you're not in my page you can follow that page but remember you're following jesus christ please also subscribe to my youtube channel very soon i'm going to go live just this year and you're going to see what the lord is going to do i thank the lord for you i appreciate it from you i was called because of the revival of the church and i know that the people are going to be revived in their hearts in their spirits in their bodies the lord wants us to serve him right now he wants us to be revived in our prayer lives he wants us to be revived in the word of god so that we can serve him and understand the times and the seasons that we are in so i am honored to have you here i respect you so much thank you so much for sacrificing your time and the lord has so much for us the lord his power is in the air the holy spirit is ready to impact some of these gifts that are there so that we can serve him so that the world can come back to jesus christ and so that we can go to the place that the lord has prepared for us so god bless you all so much i love you all with the love of god thank you so much my number is there i have a whatsapp number it is somewhere there and may the lord keep you and may the lord bless you so much you can also feel free to support this ministry so thank you so much you've come to the end of our service and may the lord bless you all so much thank you so much i've not been able to see my comment section for some reason but i hope that i'm going to be able to see it later on but i can see patrick there so share this to many groups as possible remember it's not only about you and you can also th click the thumbs up button please and the lord is going to bless you there's so many people waiting to listen to this there's so many people th ways we can use to get to people one of the platforms is through this uh, online platform so if you share and help somebody else may remember you shared in the blessings of the lord god bless you all so much i am not seeing any comments because somehow i'm not able to see them but god bless you so much god bless you all so much we have begun our week and i declare the blood of jesus upon your life upon your family upon every other uh, upon every uh every other thing that you're doing it is well and we are moving with the wave of the holy spirit because of this great revival we need to be very careful and we need to be prepared god bless you all so much shalom 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 our lord is very faithful <clears throat> by the blessings of the lord we'll see whether we are going to meet later uh we're going to meet this week but our lord is very faithful thank you so much for watching god bless you all so much shalom 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 i love you all so much thank you so much be blessed